Hello, cookie -ers. It's been a long time since I've been live on my page. <laughs> I go live in my group um, every week on Thursday evening at 7 for a tutorial and question and answers, but have not been live here for a while. Let me see if I can pull up your comments so I can see who's there. Um, hold on here. Let's see. Well, oh, there they are right there. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Lorena. How are you doing? Coming along? <laughs> I know you are trying so hard to learn. And I love that. Um, I want to make sure that I can see what you're seeing on here. Oh, yep, there we are. Okay, good. Oh, and I need to turn my volume down because I do not like to hear myself talk. <laughs> Hi, Tina. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Sally. Tina, hello. All the way from Greece. Now, that's amazing how this... Online world brings everyone together. So far away. I'm in the middle of the United States. Hi, Christine. Hi, Jackie. Hey, Donna. Yes, I'm glad to be back, Sally. Actually, I haven't been anywhere. I've been here the whole time. My club just keeps me really, really busy, and um, I love it. I love the club, and that's where I spend all of my time. Posting on Facebook, on my page, and on Instagram, is important to me too but I spend all of my time pretty much in my club Facebook group and recording tutorials um, and just coming up with fun things for us to do so hi Darla hi Jackie um, so I thought I would pop on here today you know with uh, COVID and everything's going on since March it's kind of been a crazy world uh, and I'm sure, like all of you, uh, there's been downs and there's been ups. And, you know, there were some days I was just like, blah, this is terrible. And then some days I felt more positive. But anyway, I've been healthy and well, thank goodness. So is my family. I've been here. I've just been working away. And I just thought, you know, today's Friday. And I think when I've gone live before, it's always been on a Friday. And there were a couple of things I wanted to share with you and then I thought I'd do a quick little tutorial of a background stencil so that you could see that and kind of see what I do in the club if you were thinking about joining or on the fence I just was going to show you what kind of what we do even though we do so much more than I'll show you today I'm just touching the very tip of the iceberg but we have a lot of fun hi Rachel hi Mary Kay from Florida and Colorado wow where I know Christine's from Texas uh, hi, Melena. Hi, Patty. Tell me where you're from. I know where a lot of my members are from that I see popping up here, but not everybody else. So I'm in Kansas City, um, on the Kansas side. I'm south of Kansas City, actually. But I'm on the Kansas side in Overland Park. But um, I'm right in the middle of the United States. It's a little overcast today, but it's beautiful weather. It's not hot. Thank goodness. It's been raining, though, for the last few days. Michigan. Um, up north, New Mexico. West Texas. Brenda, the Colorful Cookie Club is where I teach people how to design and cut uh, st cookie stencils and cook. 3D print cookie cutters. Here's a silk screen from our theme this month. Our theme is Home Sweet Home. We make traditional stencils like this. Um, and we use Cricut and Cameo cutting machines and then various 3D printers and various software. Netherlands! Hi, Ingeborg, you're here! She's far away too. She's in the club. So, hi, Brenda. Colorado. Yes, I will talk about my club so that you can know what it's about because it's amazing and I love it. Uh, my members love it. Um, I can't say enough good about my Facebook group. They're kind and helpful. It's a wonderful, wonderful 
Facebook group. We have so many helpful people. When people are stuck and they're designing, um, so many people are there to help. I'm there to help. So, hey, Rachel. So, we, this is one of our cutters for our um, theme this month. This is a wreath with a welcome banner. I've got a key printing right now, a key cookie cutter. I share the files for the stencils. I share files for cutters. I don't know. Some of my members are here. They can tell you if they love it or what it's about. There's Donna. Donna's been around since the very beginning. So has Christine's. Nancy, she's in the group too. She's been around for a long time. Not from the beginning, but quite a while. Yes. So I teach everything that I know. And it, it's just so, for me, it's so involved in making tutorials. And, and I literally teach everything I know. We learned how to draw on Procreate. We learned how to use the Icon Art Silks, the True Silk Screen Maker. Um, ugh, I don't even know. I, there's so many things we teach. I'll show you the website, too. So, um, let's see. What should we do first? Let me show you. Hey, Eddie Baker. Hi, Liz. I'm seeing different things on my uh, screen and then on my phone here. <laughs> so um, let me show, I'm just going to show you the site first because I can show you that quickly and then I'll do the tutorial. Yep, there's Christine. Yeah, our club is amazing. I, I, oh yes, Donna got a 3D print. Lots of people are getting 3D printers in the club because I didn't, I didn't learn how to design, to design cookie cutters until about, I think, a year ago, maybe. But once I did, I was like, oh, my gosh, this is so not as hard as I was making it. And, you know, I watched YouTube tutorials. Dieter Grother has a group, L2C 3D Printing. His group is amazing. He taught me most of what I know. I'm in 3D Cutter Boot Camp with Dina Schlicker. And her group is good, too. I, th I don't know if it's if you can see it if you search for it. 3D, uh, it's Cookie Cutter Boot Camp. And then 3D Printed Cookie Cutters. There's some 3D groups out there. But um, I learned by just picking and choosing things. And then Dieter was my help all the time when I needed answers. And um, I learned how to do it. I learned how to use multiple programs just by fiddling around and practicing practicing because it takes practice but I've done all the hard work and and learning and so what I do in the club is put that in order for people to learn so that it's not so daunting of a task yes I saw your fundraiser Nancy those were the cutest cookies she did a fundraiser for was it a local pet shelter they were so cute and Nancy has a shop Nancy you type the name of your shop in there oh good <laughs> There's Melena. You shared it. Good. Yeah, share this post if you think any of your cookie friends would like to learn more about the club because I'll show you the website here. My website, we switched over in May. It was a massive undertaking, but um, we did it. Uh, and all the videos are there. And it says 350, but there are more than 350 uh, between there and our Facebook group. There's so many videos that explain so many things. And we love to just get together and chit-chat, too, sometimes on our live before I do a tutorial. So I do a tutorial every week. Plus, I post videos on the website constantly. So um, let me tell you things before I forget and get to talking about my website. I can, I can, I can talk a blue streak. I want to say something uh, in five minutes, and it takes me 20 usually because I, you know, say I include many other things along with what I'm trying to say. Yes, good. Thank you, Melania, for sharing it. Um, so, Cook Your Swag is having a giveaway. So, if you go to at Cook Your Swag on Instagram, you can enter for that giveaway. I wanted to mention that. Um, I am getting ready to plan our next cookie-a-thon. And if you have seen one of our cookie-a-thons before, they're amazing. Our members in the Colorful Cookie Club volunteer to do a 20-minute tutorial on Facebook. All the tutorials can be viewed on my page all day long. We have one every 20 minutes, and it's going to be a fall-autumn cookie-a-thon, but there might be some Thanksgiving and Christmas tutorials thrown in there. Who knows? We're going to surprise you. We don't know yet. But I posted 
yesterday for volunteers and we have quite a few already so it's going to be an amazing fall cookie-a-thon if you are interested and you will be if you're a cookier because the tutorials are amazing so be looking for that announcement once I get all the graphics made and the website page created we have a giveaway we have we usually have sponsors who volunteer to give away some things the colorful cookie club will be giving away a cameo four for that so it's going to be an amazing event the date is September 12th. It's a Saturday, and we start at 10 in the morning, and we run as long as we need to run for all the tutorials to be completed, and they're every 20 minutes back-to-back, -back. so you can come and go as you like. Yes, the last cookie-a-thon, they're both. We've had two now, and they're both, they've both been wonderful. I mean, just amazing, and it's hard for people to go live on Facebook and do tutorials, so they're kind of stepping out of their comfort zone, but we've had nothing but wonderful feedback from the cookiers who've done our tutorials and also from people who are watching them. So I'm really excited about that. Thank you, Christine. Uh, let me think if there was anything else I wanted to tell you about. Um, well, you know Cookie-a-thon was postponed uh, until next year in Florida. And then the one in Dallas is still planned. So what I d I've done is I'm going to be teaching in Dallas um, in April. If it's, if it's still on for now, unless it gets changed, I'm going to be teaching in Dallas in April. So, um, hi, Heather. How are you? Haven't seen you for a while. And I can't see everybody's name. It's kind of weird. I see Deborah's name pop up. Hey, Jenny, I see you. Um so anyway, I can't, anybody else have any cookie news they want to share? Anything they know of? <laughs> I rarely get out of my Facebook group to see what's happening. I, it was really bad, but I, 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 my club keeps me so busy in my Facebook group and emails and private messages and things like that. Um, so I don't get out of my group much. So if you know some cookie news I don't, please share with us because I'd like to know. All right, let's go ahead. I'm going to go to my site, and let me pull up. Where is it? Um, i got to move some things around on my screen here so I can find it. Um, that's my Facebook group. Oh, there it is. Hold on. <laughs> when you do a live like this, you have a lot of stuff on your screen. Let me make this bigger. So, this is the ColorfulCookie.com website, and when you purchase a membership, it's $14.99 a month, and you can cancel any time, but, and this is a question I get sometimes, <laughs> Melina, a needy bunch. Well, that tells me that everyone is learning, and that, that's, that's a good thing, but you're, you're right, <laughs> but that's why I'm here. <laughs> um. So once you purchase a membership, it's $14.99 a month. You can cancel any time. And say you join today and you decide, which I don't think that you would, but if you decide in three weeks, you don't, you've learned everything you need to know and you cancel, you still have the whole month that you paid for, even if you canceled like in the third week. And that's true of any month. Hi, Pamela. So, um... You can see here, this is the home page. I've got to make my page bigger so I can see more of it. And I want to see what you're seeing. Um, when you log in, here's home, of course. And you can scroll through here. You can watch a little video. And if you want to join, you can click here. Or you can click down here, I want in. And once you're in, you get a message. And you can go to your library. And you can see we have a get started section with videos. This is where um, the very first videos are. Get started is a tour of everything on the website and in our Facebook group. You can click back to right here. Design your first stencil. This is where you design your first stencil either in Silhouette Studio software or Cricut Design Space software. And then if you click click my library, you go back to all the categories. So we have learned to design in Cricut Design Space. These are, if you click view, these all open to more videos. We have software tools. You can see all the videos here and they go on and on and on. <laughs> 
and then design stencil designing tutorials that are specific and then you can also see the same thing I'm just gonna click you can click back to my library there or here Silhouette Studio same thing tons of tutorials in this category these categories are our monthly themes there is a Cricut Design Space set of tutorials and also one for Silhouette Studio these tutorials are background stencils and you can see they're divided up there are background stencil tutorials for Silhouette Studio there are also background tutorials for Cricut Design Space. So I'm just here to tell you that if you need a tutorial, it's probably on this website. Um, then when we go on to the second page, we have silk screen tutorials, bridging tutorials for fonts, paint your own tutorials. And each of these opens up into more tutorials when you click view. Um, so that's the category and here are all the tutorials and if you click say you click um, I don't know using cookie cat here's cookie cat tutorials so it's kind of a never-ending supply of tutorials and then on this last page there are three pages of categories this is the smart screen stencil maker that makes true silk screens and this this section is the club downloads this is where all of our downloads are. We have resource documents for um, helping you with designing and cutting stencils, t-shirt designs, printables, stencil downloads, tons of stencil downloads. This is, this is a huge library of stencil downloads. And then there's a link here for stencils that our members have shared. Um, and there's lots of those as well. So I'm sharing stencils, but this link uh, takes you to more links that members have shared stencils that they've made so this kind of this list kind of goes on and on and on there's tons in here to download so that is the website kind of in a nutshell it's massive there's tons of videos and then on top of that we have a Facebook group where we have themes or topics that you can search through you can post your questions if you haven't found your answer in a video or you know can't figure it out it's just wow I, I can't say enough about it I just love my club this is the blog just in case anyone's never seen it this is about not wasting stencil material this is a blog that um, you know over COVID that was written this is a weeding tool hack there's lots of helpful things in here these are these are really helpful my most popular post though is right here Cookie stencils, cookie stencils. I want to make my own cookie stencils. Which cutting machine should I buy? Number one question I get asked right here. So there are quite a few blog posts here too, if you're interested in the blog. Here you can click on this and contact me. And then here um, where it says shop, if you're looking for supplies for 3D printing, for your iPad or iPhone, silk screen stencil materials, tr traditional stencil materials, all these things contain uh, links to things that I use to make stencils. So that is kind of the website in a nutshell. <laughs> so um, I just can't say enough about the club. If you're on the fence, you can join for a month and see if you like it and see what you learn and go from there. So let me go back to me here. Did I have, let's see, I can't see any questions. Okay, so yes, Melena, I, the website is so much easier to navigate than the other one. And there's a search tool. So if you're in a certain, say you're in the Cricut software tool videos and you want to search for a certain tool, there's a search tool to help you as well. Yep, lots of bonus stencils and cookie cutters. Anytime I make them and design them, I share them with the club. Um, and sometimes if I'm designing and making them, I'll do a tutorial on the way and I'll post that tutorial to the website. And then the tutorials that I do on Thursday nights also get added to the website as well. So thank you, ladies. They're all in the club. Thank you. Um, okay, so let's skip right to the tutorial. This is just going to be a quick tutorial of a, it's a stripe stencil that can be used for 
plaid. And all you do is, when you have a stripe stencil, if you don't know this, um, you cut your stencil out, and it's got your stripes, and you just, you can turn it. You just rotate it 90 degrees, and you'll have plaid. And so this is such a simple stencil to make. I just wanted to do this quickly just to give you an idea of kind of what we do in the club and how I walk you through it. Now, keep in mind, if you're a Cricut user, I also do the same thing. Whatever I do for Silhouette, I do for Cricut. So I'm doing it in both softwares for both users. So, um, okay, let's get on with it here. I'm going to click on Silhouette Studio. And there we go. All right. So I need to move some of my windows around here because I got a lot of stuff sitting on top of my soft or my screen here and I can't see. That's what happens when you go live. All right. Um, so you can see right here I have rectangles. I started this uh, just a little bit ago and I thought, you know, I'm going to go live and do this tutorial. It's such an easy one. Now, I have Silhouette Studio Business Edition. So what that allows me to do is basically what I love it for is because I share my stencils, um, I can export SVG files to share with people um, through email. If I wanted to sell them, I can share them with my club members. And that's why I have Business Edition. So what I'll do when I'm done with this stencil is I will share it with you, but Facebook won't allow me to upload um, an SVG file because of viruses. So I will add this to a Google Drive and I can share the link with you that way. And that's how members in our club share stencils with people too. So, uh, other than I add them to my website, but that's, you know, that's different than a Google Drive link. But to share with the public like you all, I can share a Google Drive link. So let me go ahead and I'm just going to move these over here. Now, I am the colorful cookie, so I love all things color, every single color, and I like to work in color. So you're going to see me put things in color here. On the left hand side, we have our drawing tools. And I'm going to click right here on Draw a Rectangle. Now, the shortcut for that is just pushing R on your keyboard. So I'm going to click and drag, and my stencil frame that fits in all of my stencil holders, I've got, I've got every stencil holder they've ever made. I've got the Stencil Genie, the Sweetest Tears, I've got the Three Sweet Chicks Silk Screen, I, you name it, I've got it. Um, so I know that the width of those is five and a half, so I'm going to, um, I've inserted this rectangle, I'm going to close the lock right up here at the top. I hope you can see my cursor. And I'm going to make this stripe um, just 5 inches, and we'll see how that works. No, not 5.006. I want to make it 5 inches. Now, it stayed in proportion because this is locked. If this were unlocked and I changed this over here, um, it, it would change the height as well. So this is the aspect ratio. And I'm going to make this one, let's do this uh, 2 tenths of an inch wide. Okay, now to keep it simple, instead of drawing another rectangle, I'm just going to push command in the down arrow to create another rectangle. And this one, I'm going to leave the width the same. I'm going to make this one 0.15 and hit enter. So it's a little more narrow. Actually, I want it more narrow than that. So let's make it 0.12. And then I'm going to push command in the down arrow. If you're on a PC, it's control in the down arrow. Um, let's make this one, and you noticed it's unlocked, so the 5 inches is staying constant right here. Let's make this one um, point, let's try point A. Oh, no, that's not what we want. Um, okay, 8 hundredths of an inch. All right, so there are my stripes that I'm going to start with. I'm going to leave some of them apart, some of them close together. Now, I could even do one a little thinner if I wanted to, and I could even just do, I don't know, I could do two stripes. It doesn't really matter. Let's do 0 .05. There's a thin one. Okay. Now, I'm going to leave those kind of spread apart there, 
And I'm going to go ahead and turn these into a color. Let's make a pretty um, summer plaid. And I always like to change my lines to the same color. I'm going to align them using the quick access panel right here. And I'm going to align left. So now they're all in alignment and I'm going to click and drag and push Command G. That's Control G on a PC. And then I'm going to push Command in the down arrow to duplicate those. And Command in the down arrow again. Now we all know that our stencil frame needs to be, if we want it to fit in our genie, about five and a half by five and a half. So I'm going to click draw a rectangle and I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to click and drag and I'm going to make this as close to five and a half by five and a half that I can get. And obviously it's a little bit off, so that's okay. Since I held down shift, it stayed in proportion, five and a half, uh, 5.524 on both sides. So I'm going to lock this to keep it in proportion. And I'm going to hit, uh, come up here and delete that two four and hit enter. And now I have my perfect five and a half by five and a half. So now let's color in this, um, stencil frame and let's make it a pale yellow and let's make our lines pale yellow and we just covered up our stripes. Basically if you're looking at this as it's in layers um, this is on the top layer this is on the back layer but or if you think of it like pieces of paper this is a piece of paper that's laying on top of this piece of paper so it's hiding it so we need to send the stencil frame to the back and right up here we can click send to back and there is our set of stripes. So we're kind of getting the idea of how it looks here. And I'm already thinking, okay, if this is a stencil and these are all loose in here because I don't want to have to put a bridge down the center, that would be a gap in those, I need to shorten them up a little bit. They're too close to these outside edges. However, give, let me give you a tip. One fix for that is if you own silk screen material and you own a genie or a stencil holder with magnets, slip a piece of that silk screen material right over the top of this. You put your stencil in your holder, then you put your silk screen over the top of that, and then you put the top of the stencil with the magnets on top of that, and that silk screen will hold down your stripes so that you don't get under spray. So I'm going to click and drag these. Um, let's see, right now they're at 5 inches. I'm going to make these 4.75. So I just reduced those. Let's see. Okay, that's going to be better. They didn't need to be so close to the edge. So one more of these I'll duplicate and put this back. And that's about right. But I want to make sure these are all distanced equally. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to space them vertically. Now they're perfect. I will group those. Put this back where it goes. Click and drag. I'm going to center everything on top of each other, push Command G, and let me show you what happens when I click Send. Here is your stencil. I'm going to move it up to this corner because I want to cut four out of my 12 by 12 sheet of stencil material. So I'm going to cut this one out of this corner. That way, you know, if I cut it here, I'm running a whole sheet of stencil material, which is 12 by 12. So I'm going to bump it over to this corner making sure that it's within these red cut lines, and away you go. And that is how you make a stencil. I know that was quick, but um, that's how you make a stencil. So let me go back here to me and see if there are any questions. This is how we always do it when I'm doing a live tutorial. I come back and I say, now, does anybody have any questions? Or you can post them along the way. And... If you are watching on replay, you can post your questions also, and I'll still see them. If you tag me, if you can tag me and type my name, that's good too. So that's how you make a stripe stencil. With, and there was a tip in there about the silk screen to put over the top to make sure that it lays flat, and you can airbrush right over that, and you won't have any underspray. So that's it. I'll give you a minute if you're typing. I know when I'm watching a live and I have a question, sometimes my fingers don't type fast enough and they end the live before I've had a chance to type it in. <laughs> so I want to give you a minute to type any questions. But 
if you're on the fence about the club, I would, of course, I'm going to tell you I think you definitely need to join because it's fun. And we have a good time. And you have tons of files right there at your fingertips to, and stencils to cut. If you have a 3D printer, cookie cutters to print. You can learn to design your own. You can make customs, anything you want. You got somebody who gives you an invitation to a baby shower and they want the little ducky on there as a cookie. No problem. You can do it. And I can show you how. You're welcome, Marianne. Yeah, mesh is a game changer, Melina. You are right. Okay, so I popped in on a Friday. I wanted to say hi. I'll try to do this more often. I just, I haven't done it lately. It's hard to fit everything in and sleep. <laughs> so, but thank you for watching today. If you have any questions, you can always email me at nancy at thecolorfulcookie.com. And you can see everything about the club at thecolorfulcookie.com. Explain how the membership works. Oh, yes. Well, um, the membership works like this. When you join, it's monthly. It's $14.99 a month. You can cancel any time. You have access for the month that you paid for. You are added to the Facebook group. You request to join. You're added to the Facebook group to our community there where you can um, follow along. You can enter for giveaways. You can post your questions. You can see me live every Thursday to do a tutorial and answer any other questions you may have. You have access to every download that I make possible, plus downloads from our members. Um, you need, if you are going to, if you want to learn to cut stencils and you know nothing about it, you either need a Cricut machine or a Cameo machine. Now, I have multiple machines, and I have a blog post. If you go to the blog at thecolorfulcookie.com at the top, you'll see the word blog. You can read about the difference in machines. If you like the thicker stencil material, the Cricut cuts that very nicely. I use the Food Safe Graphics. It is 7.5 mil, 0075. Um, it's a little thicker, but I prefer that when I'm scraping royal icing over the top. If you don't mind the thinner stencil material, which is the 5 mil, which is I think what most stencil vendors use, I think. I haven't bought any stencils in years because I've made my own, but um, what I did buy were 5 mil. They're a little thinner, and they cut perfectly on the Cameo. The Cameo 4 recently came out, and they talked about, you know, the 5,000, and I always get it backwards, grams and kilograms, 5, five grams of pressure or 5,000 kilograms. I think that's the way it goes. I'm terrible at metrics. Um, it only cuts with that in the second tool carriage on the Cameo 4. And the problem with that is, if you wanted to cut the heavier material, you can only put certain blades in that second tool carriage on the Cameo 4, and they don't cut the fine details of stencils. So the tool carriage 1 in the Cameo 4 cuts with the same amount of pressure as the Cameo 3. So you can get by with a Cameo 3 or a Cameo 4. You can get by with a Cricut Air 1, Air 2, or a, a maker if you're talking Cricut. Now those Cricut machines will cut the heavier material and anything else you want to cut. The Cameo machines will cut the 5 mil material and anything else you want to cut. Paper, vinyl, cardstock, Cameo, and the Silhouette Studio software is amazing. Um, I design everything in Silhouette Studio software and I would suggest if you really get into it and you have a Cricut and you want to learn to use the studio software, I would suggest that because you can sell your files, you can share your files because you can export SVG files. You cannot do that in Cricut Design Space. Five kilograms or 5,000 grams. Okay, I always say it backwards. Um, so um, I suggest that if you're new, you start with either machine, read the blog for the differences at thecolorfulcookie.com. You need the stencil material, which is in my Amazon shop. So if you click shop on the website, you can see traditional stencil materials. You can also see silk screen materials. The difference between a silk screen, and I'll just show you if I can find one here. The difference between a silk screen and a traditional stencil, and I don't have two exactly the same here. I don't think. Um, do you
Do you see the stencil and do you see the gaps in that, the, the uh, branch? See the leaves, how they're separated from the stem or the branch? That's a bridge. There's a gap between those two. That's what keeps these leaves in place. If that gap weren't there and I cut around this entire leaf, it would just fall out. So you need bridges in traditional stencils. In a silk screen stencil, I don't, let me see. I always have to find something dark to hold up. In a silk screen stencil, and I always do my silk screens on colored vinyl so people can see them. You cannot see the clear Oracle 651. All right, see the word welcome? There are no gaps in that, no bridges. And on the front, you see the vinyl. On the back is the silk screen. This vinyl is like a sticker. It sticks to the silk screen. And because the sticker is stuck to the silk screen, it creates your stencil. And you can airbrush over silk screens very carefully, or you can scrape royal icing over them and get that beautiful, smooth, flat uh, impression. It's not an impression, but the what you run through there, your stencil uh, sits on your cookie. You scrape your royal icing over it very thin, and it's beautiful and nice and flat. It's just like silk screening on a t-shirt or clothing. So no bridges needed for a silk screen, but here's one that has bridges. Um, this is for our theme this month. This is a welcome mat. See the word home? Do you see those little bitty gaps in the word home? I, don't, I need to, let me hold real still. See the um, white areas around that half circle? Those are bridges. And I have bridges in the word home as well to keep it in place because this is not sticky. You have to have little fingers to hold that image inside of there, if that makes sense. And if it doesn't, study the stencils that you already have and, uh, and you may only have traditional stencils. But if you look at those and study those, you can see where the bridges are. You have to have bridges to hold things in place. And then... Of course, cookie cutters. I mean, this, this, I've tried tons of filament and I try more. Every time I run out, I put a new roll on to try different ones. This is that Zolotec rainbow filament. This is a beautiful color, but I've, I've had green, blue, purple, and now it's running through this color. It's, it's a variegated roll of filament, but, um, so I have tutorials for cookie cutters, Procreate, designing stencils in Silhouette Studio, Cricut Design Space, all kinds. So, all right, um, once in a while, I've considered offering a yearly membership for the club, and I may, I may offer that soon. And even if you're a monthly member already and you want to switch to yearly, you'll be able to do that. But I, I haven't um, put that up yet, but I have thought about doing that here before long. So for now, it's month to month, and you can have the option to switch to yearly if you choose to. So... Nice to see everybody. Enjoy your Friday. I hope it's beautiful where you are. We've had people from all over the world watching, which is so much fun to me. Let me know if you have any questions. You're welcome, Roxanne. Check out thecolorfulcookie.com. Check out the blog there. You'll see it in the menu at the top. The Amazon shop for supplies. And if you want to join us, click join now and see what all the fun is about. We certainly have all kinds of fun. Love my club and love my club members. All right. Happy Friday afternoon. See you again soon. I hope it's not so long in between next time. <laughs> You're welcome, Melena. Bye-bye. I'm going to show you how to download the stencil that I created this morning during our live tutorial. The link is right here in the comments of the Facebook Live. And then I'm also going to share a new post on the Colorful Cookie page. Same page, I'm just going to make a separate post and you'll also find it here. I wanted to make you a video to show you how this works if you're not familiar with downloading from a Google Drive or a shared link from a Google Drive. All you're going to do is click on this link right here. Now I have to copy and paste it right now because I haven't posted the link yet. So I'm gonna copy this and I'm going to paste it. And you are going to see this once you click that link. Terms of use, 
the printable for the stencil. I print this on cardstock. You need to print it at 100%. It's a PDF. And it will also, it's storage for when you store your stencil. If you put this printable behind it, you can see easily what your stencil is because it's, I think this one is pink in color. And here is the stencil. It says stripes underscore plaid SVG. This SVG is a cut file. This stencil is ready for you to cut. And all you need to do is click right here on this button that says download. And I've already saved this to my computer to test it out. You can see right here it's showing me that one in parentheses because I've already saved it. It will save as a zip file, which means there are more files inside of it. So once you click save and it's on your computer, I'm going to click cancel for mine. It's going to look like this and it's going to end with ZIP. All you need to do on a Mac is double click it and it will open. You're going to see here, I already had it open once, so it put a 2 at the end of this. Then once it's open, if you're on a PC, you have to right click on this and then choose extract, I believe. I'm on a Mac. So once you open the file, you just double click on it. And right here is the PDF with the terms of use and instructions. And if you don't know this little trick, I'll share another trick with you here. Um, when you select this, you don't have to open it to view it. You can push your space bar and you can see all of the information. This is the instructions for Cricut Design Space, Silhouette Studio, to upload the stencil file. There's also links to the club and the Amazon shop there if you need that too for stencil material or a machine. Uh, um, then this is the printable. I'm going to select it by just clicking and then pushing the space bar to view it and there's what you're going to print you can print that on cardstock or paper and store it behind the stencil then here is the svg file and that's the stencil you are going to be uploading this svg file into your cutting machine software and cutting this it's ready to go all you have to do is cut it whether you're on a cameo or using a cricut machine and that is how you download a file from a Google Drive. It's very easy. If you get stuck and have any questions, you can always post in the comments of the live or wherever I post this, and I'll see it there. All right, good luck with that. Let me know how you like it. And if you use it on something as stripes or plaid, um, tag me so that we can see it. Enjoy.